Hi everyone, we're in Golden, Colorado today and we'll be spending some time with our friends over at the Kong headquarters. If you don't know Kong by name, you'll definitely know them by the little red rubber toy that dogs love. So let's head over there. I'm Katie Free, and uh, you're at the Kong Company, so welcome to Kong. It's great to have you here. Definitely Kong started out of a need, and the need was um, our founder, Joe Markham's dog, who was a police dog who got rejected from the police academy because he was chewing on sticks and rocks, and Joe was trying to find a solution, something for Fritz to be able to chew on. Well, he tried all kinds of things. He talked to trainers, he talked to vets. He couldn't find anything that Fritz couldn't destroy. And one day he was working on a VW van because he was a mechanic. And at this mechanic shop, which incidentally got burglarized a lot, and that's why he had Fritz to try to protect him and his business. Well, as he was working, he threw a strut off over his back. He continued to work on the VW, but he heard Fritz behind him going crazy on the strut. Interestingly enough, he couldn't chew up the strut. So it was just a wonderful time that the Kong was discovered. And Fritz then had something to chew on. It's been successful, I think, because it just hits the needs of dogs, all kinds of dogs. You know, we say dogs need to play. The Kong is fun, and that's what we want to bring into dog's life. And you can use it for all kinds of dogs. Some dogs want to just chew on it and try to kill it. Other dogs like to lick a little peanut butter out of it. Other dogs want to just carry it in their mouth. Other dogs want to sleep with it. You know, law enforcement, military, they use it for their high intensity dogs to bring them down. So I think Kong has been successful because we've stayed consistent with a product that works for a variety of dogs around the world, not just in the U.S. One thing about the future of Kong is it's going to be just like it has been the last 44 years. The Kong is the Kong. We're not changing that, that's our heart and soul. Truly, my heart is shaped like a Kong, and it's our PMS number 199 red. You know, that, that is consistent. Uh, what will change is the vehicles we use to do that. So the foundation is the same. Um, again, I think I have the best job in the world, and I can work with this amazing team of people who have the same goals and mission in mind. We continue to innovate toys for dogs. Now, dogs are dogs. I don't think in my lifetime they're gonna to evolve to have opposable thumbs. You know, dogs are dogs, and we're gonna make sure that we're focusing on the core of what they need and what's good for them. But in that, we get to use new materials, new colors, new concepts will come up. We want, we want our consumers to have new ways to play with their dogs, and dogs not to get bored, because again, dogs need to play, but if we can continue to give them a variety of ways to play, and for our consumers to understand dogs and how they can play, it's just better bond between them. Uh, that, that We're there for the dogs. Our mission statement is, uh, number one, we want to be a great place to work, and a great place to work is anything from um, I get a great paycheck to I love the environment, I love the people I work with. It's really important for us to have a lot of respect, um, a lot of fun in the workplace. One of the ways that we're a great place to work is people bring their dogs. We have a huge commitment to have dogs around the office. Every once in a while there's dog politics or dogs that might not get along and we have to separate them. Or Certain dogs can only come on certain days, um, but we also have a luxury of having um, a very professional trainer and a lot of trainers in our environment so they can educate us, help us know how to take care of our dogs, how our dogs get along. So the dogs are just part of us and we can't imagine them not to be with us. So make a difference in the world is the second piece of our mission statement. I really will always have a goal of facilitating people um, around thinking how they can give back for them each individually. And we want to give back to the industry, to the world, to each other. Huge, huge piece. It's in our mission statement. We only have three pieces and build a brand. We're having the fun of building the brand. That's how we make our decisions here. Is it good for our brand? And what does our brand need? And the, the, the quality of the product we create and the quality of the people around us. That's what we want to continue to feed and facilitate going forward.